We move toward hope, hope in the incremental increase of light each dark winter day, hope in a bit of oil to bring light for not just one, not just two, but eight nights, hope in a child born in scandalously poor and anonymous circumstances to bring healing and peace to a troubled world. This is the time for making room at the table, around the circle, and in the inn, for reaching out to the stranger, for welcoming new light and new life, for reclaiming the purposes and dreams to which our lives are tied. We move toward hope. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to United Church of Christ in Boxborough. I'm Reverend Cindy Worthington Berry, and no matter who you are or where you are on the journey, you are welcome here. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Woo! Not ten minutes ago, I found out that a member of my family is testing positive for COVID. So out of an abundance of caution, I am leading worship from a distance, and I'm going to leave right afterwards. And it's really sad because our whole plan today was to have Jesus' birthday cake. But guess who set out Jesus' birthday cake? So um, we're going to have... Um, virtual Jesus's birthday cake today, and we'll make up for it sometime. So whether you are with us in person or online, live or later, we're so glad to be connected. And for more information about life at UCC Boxborough, please visit our website and sign up for The Flash, our weekly email newsletter. And if you're with us for the first time today, welcome. We are an open and affirming congregation, fully welcoming people of all sexual orientations, gender identities, and gender expressions. We have Zoom Deacon Nancy. Good morning, Nancy, hosting people on Zoom. You can chat with Nancy there and add your joys and concerns there when we get to that part of worship. Nancy will also post a link to the digital bulletin, which you will need for the hymn. Next week, assuming all is well, we will have a New Year's communion at 9.30. And again, if all is well, we'll make somebody else set it up next time. We'll have a little uh, sparkling cider toast as well. I don't even know where the, oh, the bell's way over there, so I'm not even going to ring the bell today. We're gonna, Wendy's going to ring the bell when I gesture to, no, no, you may go there now, you may go there now, and then when I gesture, you may ring the bell. So no more. The bowl is not attached to the cushion. <laughs> Last night on Christmas Eve, we said that God shows up, especially when things are wacky. God is really showing up and showing off this morning. So let us center ourselves into this worship service. Bring our bodies and our breath fully into this time and place, knowing that we are met by the God who loves us just as we are. Please join me in the call to worship, printed in your bulletin. Light the candles. The hope of our hearts has been born. Sing the carols. The star to guide our spirits has risen. Embrace your neighbor. The cradle of compassion receives us all. Believe in the mystery. The love we long for is here. Let us join together in our gathering hymn, Angels We Have Heard on High. You're welcome to rise in body or spirit. The words are found in your bulletin.
Amen. You may be seated. Our centering prayer this morning begins with a bit of quiet. This could be a chance to think about gifts, not the ones that come in gift bags or wrapping paper, but the ones we find in community, in worship, in the moments when we ground ourselves in God's presence. Let us pray. God of manger, straw, and swaddle cloth. God of silent nights and joyfully chaotic mornings, we long to know you. The hustle and bustle of this time of year can be more than distracting. So for a moment we pray. Still our busy hearts. Quiet our minds. Help us to sink deeply into this day. Help us to pause here. To linger here. As we hear your good news spoken over us. God, we long to know you, so speak to us now. With grateful hearts, we listen. With grateful hearts, we pray. Using words taught to us by the teacher whose birth we celebrate today. Creator God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. On this Christmas morning, when one who has been called the Prince of Peace has been born, Art, could you welcome our newest worship participant? Thank you. Back to me, back to me. On this Christmas morning, when one who has been called the Prince of Peace has been born into the world and into our hearts, let's turn to our neighbors, look into their eyes, and say this like we mean it. The peace of God be with you. Oh. Folks online, you might greet each other through the chat box. In person, you might bow or wave or high five, then we'll join together in our song of celebration. This is a milling about, passing of the peace, and yet stay distant if whatever way makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> season of high expectations, like your family all getting along or your family actually being able to get together. Um, maybe high expectations like you're finally going to get that pony that you always wanted. And so Christmas can also be a season of great disappointments, plans gone awry, not getting what you would hope to get. So we have a litany for this season that Art and Wendy are going to lead. And after each stanza, we will respond with we remember, we forgive, we love. Let's practice. We remember, we forgive, we love. Excellent. For gifts we yearned for, but did not receive. Remember. Let art do his part. I'm sorry, I will gesture. I will get you. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> and for things we received, but never wanted. We remember, we forgive, we love. For those who offered us cheer, when what we needed was comfort. And for those who gave us gifts, but never their presence. We remember, we forgive, we, forgive, we, we love. love. For those who offered us love, but we could not accept it. And for ourselves, who could not give what was needed. We remember, we forgive, we, forgive, we, we love. love. For those we have loved deeply, who have left us too soon. 
for ghosts of Christmas past that haunt us to this day. We remember, we forgive, we love. For those who, like the innkeeper, turned us away. And for those we rejected, fearing we had no room in our homes or our hearts. We remember, we forgive, we love. For the times we saw a star in the east, but failed to follow it. And for times we followed it faithfully, but it did not lead where we hoped. We remember, we forgive, we love. For wise men and women whose gifts we rejected. And for those whom we thought we were wise and trusted to our detriment. We remember, we forgive, we love. For miracles gone unnoticed until it was too late. For salvation that still has yet to arrive. We remember, we forgive, we love. For all these things, we pray that we may be granted an abiding serenity in all our memories and that we may find peace now and in the days to come. Amen. Amen. Wait, wait. We have more. <laughs> we stay here. Yeah. You want help with the scripture? Mm, no. no. What okay. did we decide? I'm going to do C next. Okay. Okay. Our, we're, we're, we're adjusting roles. We're adjusting roles. Our scripture reading this morning is from the gospel according to Luke. Hear his version of Jesus' birth. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. I then really should have got my act together on to before them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angels said to them, Do not be afraid. Who is the Messiah, the Lord? This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel, and suddenly there was an angel, a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those who he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. These are our sacred stories. May God give us the vision and wisdom to live them. Amen. Luke writes that Mary put baby Jesus in a manger, which is the wooden crate that animals eat out of. So that's why we picture Jesus in a stable surrounded by animals. Our next hymn is a song about the animals who might have been there when Jesus was born. The words are in your bulletin.
Amen. You may be seated. So today, so there's, you know, there's a lot of people who are not here today because they are at home. And why are they at home? Because it is Christmas, and Christmas is when we celebrate what? Jesus' birthday. So today is Jesus' birthday. Just everybody at home, everybody who's sleeping in, everybody who's traveling today. We are all celebrating today Jesus' birthday. And I love birthdays. I don't, I'm not crazy about my birthday, but I love other people's birthdays, especially more and more the older I get. Because they are an opportunity to focus on that individual person whose birthday it is. You know, at Christmas, we're focusing on lots of people. But on birthdays, we focus on just that person. And we get to celebrate how wonderful it is that they are in the world. We get to celebrate their unique gifts. And we get to communicate straight to them how much they, they mean to us. Uh, today, there will be about 350,000 babies born. That many babies coming into the world just on this, this one day. They are poor and rich and white and brown, and they have different gifts and different abilities and all kinds of challenges. They'll do all kinds of, of different things. Maybe today the child has already been born who will help us to really bring peace and justice to the world as we continue on this long journey uh, to try to make that arc bend toward love and justice. But no matter what, they are all children of God. They are all precious and beautiful. So even while we focus on Jesus' birthday today, we also remember the 350,000 children born today, December 25th, 2022, because for Jesus, that would be the best gift that we could give to honor and care for all the children in the world. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Jesus. Usually we'd have a candle with this. Yeah, okay. But right now we're just going to pretend and sing happy birthday to Jesus. Joe, you want to just give us a note? Sorry, I didn't warn you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jesus, happy birthday to you. Amen. As a faith community, we know the power of connecting our hearts with God's presence. So during this time, we share our joys and our concerns. In prayer, those who are joining us through Zoom, you're welcome to add your joys and concerns into the chat box. In the room, you're invited to share them aloud, just a reminder that we don't use last names out of respect for confidentiality. So we begin with joys. What joys do you bring to this place today? Damon. It is surely a joy that Damon is here. It is a joy that all of you in person and online are here, and especially Damon and Larry, who uh, did an amazing job with tech last night and are back doing it again today. And uh, you're doing, yeah. <laughs> really appreciate all that you're doing. Thank you, guys. What concerns do you bring to this place today? I heard last night there was a carload of immigrants dropped off in 18 degree weather at the vice president's house. And just knowing that this um, descending of migrants, these were asylum seekers from what I understand, around the country to very cold places without adequate gear on Christmas Eve uh, is particularly heartbreaking. So may we continue to work for plans around uh, immigration and plans around justice that no one will be left out in the cold. Art, I saw your hand up. Art witnessed uh, an accident right outside his apartment building yesterday. We're imagining that it was people rushing about with so many errands to get done. So certainly a concern for everybody who is traveling and wanting them to be safe, wanting everybody maybe just to slow down a little bit, and also particularly thinking of our first responders who are working today and folks who are at work in hospitals today who are um, giving of themselves to care for people in, in difficult situations. Thanks, Art. Yeah, Jess. Uh, so 
just is inviting us to think about parents and grandparents near and far, especially as they are dealing with aging and health issues, and also prayers for caregivers and, and for folks who are worrying about family members who are far away. It's hard enough to care for someone when they're right in the same building, never mind when they're half a country away. Catherine. Catherine is inviting us to pray today for people for whom this is not a happy day, but a hard day for whatever reason. And we can imagine particularly in families where there has been a death in the past year, or where there is some kind of family tension, or a job has been lost. Reasons like that, we hold people in prayer today. Thanks, Catherine. Let us be together in prayer. It is the winter season of the year, dark and chilly. Perhaps it is the winter season in your life, dark and chilly there too. Come into Christmas here. May the light and warmth of Christmas brighten our lives and our world. Let us find in the dark corners of our souls the light of hope, a vision of the extraordinary in the ordinary. Let us find rest in the quiet of a holy moment to find promise and renewal. Let us find the child in each of us, the new hope, the new light born in us. Then will Christmas come. Amen. Marianne Williamson writes, the only work that will ultimately bring any good to any of us is the work of contributing to the healing of the world. So let's get to work. As we participate in the spiritual discipline of the morning offering, may we know in mind, body, and spirit that this giving that helps heal others in turn brings about our healing as well. 
Our Zoom deacon will post giving information in the chat box and there are offering plates in the sanctuary. Thank you for all the ways you make Christmas real in the world. Our closing hymn is Joy to the World. You're welcome to rise in body or in spirit. winter's night awaken you to a quiet place within, peace amidst the noise. May the magi and the shepherds inspire you to kneel at the miracle of every child. May the candles in this sacred space ignite a flame in your soul, light to guide your journey. May the presents you've unwrapped open your heart to gifts of love every day. May Emmanuel, God with us, come into your life at Christmas giving birth to the assurance that God is with you all year long. Amen.